let's start today's tutorial today we are going to start chapter 17 our rich culture children in this video i am sending reading of the chapter you have to follow the reading and in next video i will send the explanation and question answers so let's start reading open your book Page number 110 India is rich in art and culture. Indian languages, dresses, dances, music, monuments, paintings, handicrafts and festivals enrich her culture. Languages There are 22 languages recognized by the constitution of India. Hindi and English are the official languages. Most languages are written from left to right. But Kashmiri, Sindhi and Urdu are written from right to left. Dresses The people of India wear different dresses. Women wear saris, salwar kameez, jeans, shirts, skirts and gowns. Men wear jeans, trousers, shirts and t-shirts. In some states, men wear kurta pajama and kurta dhoti. Some men also wear turbans of different types. Dances Folk and classical are two types of dances. In our country, folk dances are performed on marriage, birth of a child, festivals, change of seasons and sowing and harvesting of crops. The classical dance began in temples. Later kings encouraged these dances. Some famous classical dancers are Pandit Birju Maharaj, Sharmila Vishwas, Mallika Sarabhai and Sonal Mansingh. Music Music is also of two types, folk and classical. The Bihu Geet of Assam, Pantwani of Chhattisgarh, Bhavagatha of Karnataka and Baul Sangeet of West Bengal are some examples of folk music. There are two main styles of classical music. Hindustani and Carnatic Hindustani music developed in the north and Carnatic music in the south. Anand Bhatt, Pandit Ajay Chakravarti, Ustad Rashid Khan and Shubha Mudgal are some famous Hindustani classical singers. Ranjani and Gayatri, D. Kratika, Anga and Shankar Mahadevan are some famous Carnatic classical singers. Monuments Forts, palaces, temples, pillars, stupas and monasteries are the different types of monuments. The stupa at Sachi built by Emperor Ashoka and the temples of Mahabalipuram are examples of early monuments. The Mughal rulers built many monuments. Akbar built the Fatehpur Sikri and the Agra Fort. Shah Jahan built the Taj Mahal in Agra and the Jama Masjid and the Red Fort in Delhi. The Portuguese built many monuments in Goa. The British built the Rashtrapati Bhavan and the Parliament House in Delhi and the Victoria Memorial in Kolkata. There are also many modern monuments. These include Akshardham Temple in Delhi, the Vidhan Sudha in Bangalore, and the Assembly Building in Mumbai. Paintings Early humans painted on the walls of caves. These are called cave paintings. The cave paintings at Bhim Betka in Madhya Pradesh show early humans dancing and hunting animals. The paintings at Ajanta Caves in Maharashtra show scenes from the life of Lord Buddha. 
the mughal emperors also encouraged painters to paint scenes from everyday life paresh maithi and joli elamenan and baiju parthan are some modern painters handicrafts the handmade decorative items are called handicrafts india is famous for its handicrafts some famous items are terracotta horses of west bengal cane and bamboo crafts of tripura puppets of rajasthan and kanchipuram sarees of tamil nadu festivals the festivals celebrated in india can be grouped into four categories national festivals we celebrate three national festivals name them religious festivals people celebrate diwali christmas eid guru parav buddha purnima and mahavir jayanti harvest festivals baisakhi in punjab bihu in assam pongal in tamil nadu and onam in kerala are some harvest festivals they are celebrated when the crops have been cut special festivals these are organized by governments to attract tourists the tulip festival of jammu and kashmir the desert festival of rajasthan the konark festival of odisha the taj mahotsav of uttar pradesh the ran utsav of gujarat and the hornbill festival of nagaland are a few examples children here we completed the reading of the chapter you have to read the chapter again children you have to find out 20 hard words after reading then you have to write those hard words in your notebook in this video i have not underlined the hard words it is your homework after reading you have to find out 20 hard words that's all for today's tutorial take care bye